Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. This week coming to you from my dad's study. Well, this was the week that I was introduced to the phrase evening day part, which means exactly that. It's the evening part of the day. And it's an expression that's been used an awful lot by Greggs, which told investors this past week that it's extending its hours beyond four o'clock in the afternoon. We're not talking about share trading hours. We are, in fact, talking about retail opening hours. They will, in fact, be open until 8 p.m. at night. So you can get your pasty fix almost on a 24-hour basis. But you can find out information about opening hours if you download Greg's app. Now, in terms of Greg's share chart performance, here's the one-year chart, and here is the two year chart. So you can munch on a pasty and a vegetarian sausage and cogitate Panther Metals recent decision to have a placing. It placed more shares to raise more money. It's raised over just over a million pounds with the placement of 22 million shares. Chief Executive Darren Hazelwood giving his rationale to shareholders, saying it's to embark on one of the most audacious, cost-effective discovery drilling campaigns ever conducted by a Canada-focused London-listed junior. Not sure investors share Darren's ebullient enthusiasm, but... He didn't have any other choice but to raise money at current levels because after today's announcement, the share price is even lower. Well, Helium One also telling investors it's a pressing ahead with phase two of its drilling campaign now that a rig is almost secured. Now, those rigs are scarce with what Chief Executive David Minchin says is the competition for rigs against large and medium-sized oil and gas companies resulting in a scarcity. Well, investors are, of course, wanting affirmative confirmation that a rig contract has indeed been signed and the phase two drilling will get underway. What is helium good for? It's good for rockets, which may be sometime in the near future, could be transport alternatives to our beleaguered airline sector. It's useful for cryogenics, if you would prefer to be cryogenically frozen for a couple of years and come back when the markets are a little bit better. It also has the potential to be used in nuclear fusion reactors to, according to some experts, to provide a very efficient form of nuclear power with virtually no waste and no radiation byproducts. Well, it couldn't come sooner because we, as we approach our winter fuel bill of discontent, that helium discovery can't come quick enough. We've also heard from BP this past week. It's upped its dividend payout to shareholders just a little. The energy giant saw underlying profits hit almost £7 billion. That's more than triple the amount it made at the same time last year. The figure is the second highest in the company's history. And here is the one-year chart for BP. Well, from tankers to tanked and the share chart of Revolution Beauty Group on Tuesday was grim viewing losing half of its value after the multi-channel mass beauty innovator, the beauty product challenger announced that growth in revenue would be impacted by cost inflation, supply chain issues and the war in the Ukraine. So the new chief financial officer, Elizabeth Lake, certainly has her work cut out for her. So what are you doing this summer? Perhaps it's not a bad idea to be cryogenically frozen for a few months until the markets start behaving themselves in a fashion we'd like them to. Take care. I'll be back same time next week.